and cabbage. That's what that's that that limp you got going on there. That, and what is an SI joint? Um, yeah, he's got it. And this Don, you are not a doctor, right? No, but I've done chiropractic research for fifty plus years. Chiropractic research. Yeah, I had uh, I had a really strange friend, and uh, um, he started me out on it. So it's been a long, a long. It, actually, I hate to admit it's actually more than fifty years. I mean, it's like, but I I used to work uh, with professional mixed martial arts fighters, and I used to I did a lot of like stand up work and adjustments in locker rooms and stuff like that, and and uh, putting. Uh, joint back into place and things like that for fighters and uh but i used to i used to have uh just a like a regional chiropractic school in my home actually in iowa and uh but yeah so it wasn't anything i really wanted to do it was just something that i had a gift for i guess back then but now i don't i don't really do chiropractic i send people to chiropractors like debbie <laughs> and to have a chiropractor in uh in I, you know, I, I follow John Bergman religiously and, uh, I'm, and to give you a clue, I'm from Iowa. Uh-huh. So okay. You're from the, uh, Midwest. Originally. Yeah, but that's the, the, that's the founding Iowa's were, is that Davenport, Iowa is, is with the origins of yeah. Davenport, Iowa. You got it. And my best friend, my best friend graduated chiropractic from Northwestern. Uh-huh. And uh, so I've worked with those kind of chiropractors for years. And uh, we just, we used to uh, just do some, some strange research stuff, but energy, I'm, I'm working mostly with energetic stuff now. And uh, okay, it's you? great. I, I know personally as a fact that what you're doing doc is like, is making some profound changes in people when you're doing emotions and chiropractic. I mean, it's just invaluable. Let's get rolling. He's shall incredible. We? All right, let's do it. So Don Lynch in Mexico, Dr. Jeffrey Benton in Los Angeles, and the victim. <laughs> <laughs> and the patient, Debbie Dasher, yeah. who's willingly giving her body as she is conscious over to science and is going to lay on the table and let these mad scientists <laughs> do what they yeah. do. And uh, let's see what gets created. So just to start out, do, do you want to know specifics or just would you like to use your gifts for my body? Yeah, to I, don't, you? I, I don't want to know anything. I'm just going to watch how your body reacts and feel it and, and go with the flow here. Awesome. And uh, if, if I pick if I pick anything up, I mean, I'll just mention it. But, That's fine. And get, the, get, all right. I'm going to start doing my typical thing. So I did notice and he noticed that you're limping a little more today when did that start today today okay i mean i will see what comes up because last week you were you were you weren't limping last week yeah your last session okay there we go hold your arm out push up towards the ceiling feels good excellent Okay, let's have you lie face down. The other face down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all that blonde coming through, what can I tell you? That may be the problem right there, is the wiring. <laughs> A little bit. Roll. Very nice. Okay. Let's get roll. Does your low back bother you? 
Okay, but it was, well, if I go like this, does it feel better? No, worse. It feels a little worse. Which side? The left side. Left side. Tennis knee. Solid. Tennis knee. Solid. Hold this leg up. Pass off. Hold this leg up. Decent. Let's start with this side. Hold this leg up. Keep it up. Breath in, come on. Hold this leg up, up a little higher. Breath in, come on. Hold this leg up. Take it more. That's really tough. Oh. Hold this leg up. Oh. There. Oh. There. Oh. Your head. Keep breathing and grunting if you want. Oh. Right. Hold this leg up. Get in there. Back to here. Breath in. Yeah. Hold this leg up. That's good. Lift this leg up. I got stronger. Let's go for even higher. Lift it up. Higher. There you go. Hold it. Do it again. Unless you're losing power. A little higher. Higher? Yeah. Okay, so this leg a little higher. That's soft, that's good. Come back to this. So it's strong if you're here, but if I stretch you out a little bit more, then it goes weak. So a little higher. That's a little better. Okay. Touch down. So that's left G max. Touch down. This knee, push to the right, push to the left. That's all. Ooh, hot chocolate. Take a breath in. Yeah. Push to the left. That's much better. Good job. That's it. Side. Push to the left. Good. Push to the right. Good. Good. Um, bend both knees. Put it together. Drop them both down to the right. Push against the hand. And again, push. And that's good. So that's like your 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 core is weak. I also consider that. Like a pelvic concussion. All this stuff. So we got to find out what the deal is with that. So bend the knees again. Drop it down to the right. Hold. Just hold. Keep it there. Hold. Hold. Release it. Getting better. Let's just do right again. That strengthens. Lift your head up. Up a little more. Let's look up towards the camera. Okay. And that we. Hi, Debbie. So now I'll follow my finger. Right there. Keep your head in that, looking right there. Mm -hmm. And see, like it's all strengthened. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's everything, look in there, you keep pushing here. Mm -hmm.
take a breath in, push, and keep looking it out in place. And breath in. And good. Good. Relax everything. Got it. Come out. Close your knees. Rock to the right. Push it again. And that is now locked in. Go to the left. Push again to the left. That one is also off. Okay. This one first. Up to the left. Push against my hand. That's not it. Up to the left. That's not it. That is up to the left. That's not super strong. Actually, I don't even need, need this one. Push left. It's even stronger just like that. So lift your head up again. And that. Okay, that goes weak again. And once again, follow the finger around. Yeah, so keep your head right. Look that way again. Mm -hmm. There it is, keep looking. Push it this way in. Hold on, I can put this back on. Okay, take a breath in. And out. That's like a double, uh, a double pelvic of concussion both ways. You ready? Drop it out to the left. Solid. Drop it to the right. Hold it. Okay, good. Uh, flip over. Arm up. Back, reach. Hold this arm up. No go. No go. Okay. Well, then we'll come back to that. Hold this arm up again. Push up. Get out. Maybe that's all you need. Maybe your body just process it. Push it in. Turn your head that way. Turn your head this way. Follow my finger. So look back again. Strong getting stronger. Okay, look this way. Pop your arm down. Left a little bit. Ah. Okay. Good. 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 You drinking enough water today? I drank a little bit. Good. Good enough. Close. Keep touching. There we go. Good. Got a little kapow there. Yeah, totally. Okay. Super strong. Turn your head this way. Boom. Good. That's for your data. Pushing up here. Hey, Doc, you want to try something right there? Sure, go ahead. All right. So you were on, I think you were on the right track there about 
uh, abdominal stuff. If you do that muscle test again that you just did with this right with her right arm, okay, and feel all right now feel that weakness in her body. It's actually abdominal. It's like lower left quadrant. All right, so now just just uh, just feel that right in there. All right, now just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Everybody, just take a deep breath right there. out or in and hold the knot in and out we're activating the relaxation response right. right there stop right there right there take a deep breath oh there you go about the gurgles now just a little bit go down just a half inch lower one inch lower go straight down the abdomen right down there stop right there all right, now just feel this. Take a deep breath. It's tender. All right, now, now muscle tester. Okay. Still weak, a little stronger. Still weak. Okay, now hold on just a second. Go down, go down to the lower, right up there. Here, but I can right. the lower right you were saying, or yeah, right there, right in the middle, off, off the side, just a little bit. Yeah. It'll be uh, right, like right in there. All right, now just keep your hand right there for just a second. Just keep your hand right there. Now Debbie just felt that shift. I know she did, and still moving. All right. All right, let's see, check in. Still not strongest. So we got something going on like uh, I would I would still say there's something like maybe I'm getting right atlas still. Right atlas. Nothing major. Yeah, right atlas and right here. what what is that? Right, like, right little rib cage. Yeah. Um, this could be the insertion of the uh, QL or origin of the QL. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. What is that in you could go to the ELA sequel valve there too. What is the world? Yeah. Right in there. So, let's go that. Okay, push out towards the mirror. Definitely abdominal. Yeah, this is TFL. Like this yeah. is related to um, yeah. I think large intestine. <clears throat> yeah. However, actually, I'm actually stimulating a little bit more quadriceps than TFL, but, but it's still abdominal, lower GI related. How's that? How's that uh, right psoas? But at the moment, push out. Better. Push out. Better. Checking right so is now. Push up towards the ceiling. That's nothing there. Pushing up. Yeah. Yeah. Pushing up. Yeah. So so actually the valve like used to be, but hold the other arm up. We got something deeper in here. So there's something else, some some other deeper issue. Yeah. Hey doc, just keep your left hand right where it's at. Keep your left hand right where it's at. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just a second. Just a second. Tell me again, what is this? This is connected to the leg or it's like stomach or digestion? Well, so we, 
this, this general space is a we call it generally the Valley Houston. So this is a um, a reflex between the um, small intestine and large intestine. You want to take a picture there? So I feel I hear a lot of gurgling, which is good. You might have to run to the bathroom, which is good too. Yeah. So I'm going to energize her large intestine a little bit more and feel this. Okay. Feel it. And Debbie, take a deep breath right there. And feel the shift. All right, check it now. Okay, solid there. Pull this leg up. Pull it out. Take a quick feeling. And that's solid on as well. That came back online nicely. Check the other side. It's good. You feel there's no power? There's no power on the left psoas. Yeah, yeah. Part of it's clear, but it's not all of it. So, you know, I'm actually connecting both valve Houston and helium sepal valve. Yeah. <laughs> so, if, I was, if, I was, if anyone was ever going to squeeze that in me, <laughs> <laughs> this would be it. This would be it. <laughs> this is what it feels like. <laughs> A little toothpaste. Like it. it doesn't hurt them. It really doesn't. Breathe. Solid. Yeah. Bring that more towards me. Stretch even more. This is not going to be good. No, not so bad. Really? Is this whole thing well, good. Is good. No, that's what we're doing. Stress right. testing you right here in the lab. Here? Pushing up. Uh, solid. Super strong. Push out that way. That's leaky. Push out that way. Leaky, yeah. On your forehead. Why? Yeah. Back up. So we have a TFL that's not firing up. The solar is firing up. Push out towards the side. That's okay. So the TFL is not firing up. Let's go to the chart. Hey, Doc, do you adjust knees and feet? Sure. I mean, I get, I'm getting her right foot is just on fire. Her right foot from the first moment. Right here, foot or ankle? Yeah. Foot. Yeah. Yeah, make a shift here. Pull this arm up. Pull that leg up and then push out. Better. It's not fast, it's better. All right. Might as well do the other foot too, huh? <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. We got some nice releases there. Wow. Yeah. There, it's, it's changing. <sighs> Seeing stars. Pushing out. So not all of it, but good. Large intestine meridian. Okay. Pushing out. Pushing out. <clears throat> Pushing out. Touch your two index fingers together. Okay, so touch. Okay, so again, put this finger to right there. 
now. Opposite side, opposite hand. Push out. Put a ball, put everything on. Push out. There it is. There it is. Keep it all there. A little stimulation there. The large intestine meridian beginning and end point. What we're doing here. Breath in. Yeah, what, what did you do? I just literally saw energy going. Felt a lot of lightness. Pushing out. Bam. Yeah. That's all it on. Okay, let me write some notes here. So we did. I'm going to remind me. This one was really. How did we get this one turned on? It was right. Okay. Right, so was. This. And then you well, the goose put these two together. Right. Well, yeah, that's that. That was left. So it was, which was well, the PST plus ICD. But then we did left TFL, which was beginning and end of large intestine meridian. Bilateral, and that got us turned back on. Okay. That's what we did. That's, <laughs> that's what we did. Pushing out again. Still on. Pushing out. Excellent. Wow. Other side. Much better. That's Push amazing. Push out. Good. Let's go on. Bend this knee. Push that way. So that's next. Drop that down. Bend this knee. Push that way. Okay, so quadriceps. Start with this one first. Ah. So this is related to our um, like C1, C2. Push again. Good. Push it towards the ceiling. Ooh, again. Decent enough. <clears throat> this one. Same thing. Oh, this one powered up mostly. Let's see a little bit more. Not that side. The opposite side. Okay. And push and breathe. Solid. Push towards the ceiling. Weak. Yeah. Okay. steps. Don't fire up. It's going to fly. Chart. Small intestine. Which, yeah, so it's all this lower gut stuff. We just did a bunch of large intestine, now we're doing small intestine, which is that related to that roughly. It's also related to your abdominal muscles, FYI. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bend this knee. Hold it up. Push it towards the ceiling. Hold your two pinkies together like this. Take both the thumbs just to the pinky, push it up. So, so put this pinky here and get right there. Push it up. Solid. Okay. Let me put these needles. Let me just do this one. 
we've had we have to deal with this quickly too though. Is not best to put it, put it on the other side. Just put it both. Let's just see it all. Good. Push it up. Time. Need more hand. <laughs> <laughs> Don, can you come to the screen? I'm helping you. Pushing up. Good, let it go. Okay, we're getting a little bit faster as well. Okay, excuse me. Uh, that is me. Hold it up. Yeah. That's me again. Maybe two kids. Oh, yes, yeah. push it up. And yeah, we're clearing a bunch of stuff out. So let's go to this side. Pushing up. I think your body's processing a little bit. Put this arm up. Yeah, you can give it a minute. Then I give it to you. They go like, leave me alone. I got stuff to do. I'm integrating. Yeah. Okay. How you doing, Don? I'm good. I'm good. This is uh very interesting. Are you even able to perceive? I've been picking on you the whole time. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what? He's got he it's funny that uh you know. You know he's super sensitive too so he's got he's got all that stuff he's picking up off people it's, you know it's trapped in his intestines there yeah it's digestive so i'm gonna show, if if he's got a minute after he's done with you i'm gonna show him a, a different way to approach it okay let me uh let me just check her and then be back online it's much stronger too it's this arm see this one back online it's more sensitive I'll be back now. Come back here. Push. Uh, yeah, push up towards the sound. Yeah, that's much better. Turn the foot in. So we still got a little bit more. But Don, what do you have for me? Well, you know, I I would say energetically, um, there's like there's still intestinal stuff. Oh yeah. Abdominal. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I would, I would probably, you're so gentle. You're pretty nice. You're much nicer than I am. You know, I'm just, I'm used to working with guys and stuff, you know, big guys and things like oh. that. But you know, I, I would work on the femur heads and, uh, and, uh, I, and then, and I'd, I'd do both knees and, uh, revisit the feet then, and then, uh, work my, work my way up. But that right atlas, there's something about toxicity or something in a right atlas. And um, that could be um, related to like that left hip. There's like she's putting more pressure on her left hip. Well, okay. I don't, you know, uh, and, oh, you know, and there's another thing I'd, you know, I'd like to point out is actually, Hold on. do you, Go ahead, Don. Um, you're have you ever, you know you could work the the uh, tendons tendons and ligaments all around that uh, around those shoulder issue stuff because it could be you could be getting like some false testing there or something. Do physical stuff. You mean on this side? This is the one that yeah. gets weaker. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears> but <throat> I, I have a feeling it's like just up. It's just, it's, uh, it's not the scapula. Like it, maybe it's just above the scapula and a little bit to the left or something like that, like back in there. I mean, yeah. Do you go to the scap or superior to the scap? Superior. Superior. So. Like up in there, right in there. Just put one finger right there. Just put one finger right there. Okay. All right, where you're at. All right. And feel the shift. All right, check it, see if it changed anything. 
extension for them. What was that one? Let's go back to this one. Yeah, it's better. All right, go back. It moved. It actually moved a little bit. Go back to that same spot. And it's up and it's be towards her. Go up and to her right, just a quarter inch, eighth of an inch, right. just right up, right in there. Stop right there. Just put a finger right there on that spot. Yeah, we're on it. Yeah, she's having a shoulder orgasm. Clearing up or staying? No, I'm willing to get to the next. No, but it's all right. When I think they're in the back, we step. What's that? It got weaker. Yeah, it got weaker. Actually. Yeah. All right. So we're on the right track, actually. So let's see. I can give it a break in case it's, that's like processing region and go somewhere else. Okay. All right. And then can you muscle test yourself, Doc? Yeah. All right. Can I, can I, uh, let me see if I can uh, demonstrate something to you. Okay. So, if you come, yeah, okay, just like right in there, just kind of muscle, muscle test yourself right there, okay? Check it. Check me. All right. My muscle test yourself. Okay. All right. And now, and now muscle test again. This one's a little weaker. This is okay, but this is a little weaker on my shoulder. Pull it out. All right. Now just a second. Okay. Now just feel this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm flipping your energy. Just feel this. All right. Now muscle test yourself. That's weak. weak on okay. This. This, okay. I'm going to explain something to you. This phenomena that I discovered I, that, uh, you know, I, I live and work in Mexico. And I've worked on thousands of people down here. And there's a phenomena that I found when, when uh, I got invited to go up and work on people up in Colorado and stuff in, in New Mexico. And I found this so often up there and I didn't find it hardly ever down here in Mexico. And that was that um, when, um, you, I think it's because of like e-smog and all this stuff is that um, I call it the cross wire syndrome. Mm -hmm. And you don't really get clear signals running through the through the body. Oh. There's, uh, at the top of the, you know, somewhere in the system, you know, like the wires are running like this, mm -hmm. and electricity actually flows on the outside of the connectors. Okay, and if you have two of them like that, like that parallel, it's okay. But if you start to cross them at all like this. Uh -huh. It messes up the, the the clear signals get messed up, and like in the like the meters, like the electric meters that they're putting for you guys up there, yeah, to, to make that that twelve or twenty four digital display, they actually take your their main lead. This is one ten, and they run another wire across it, and it picks up the twenty four volt to to run the the uh, the LCD, okay, and so that's why that's how you get dirty electricity on the other side of that. Where, where it's looped wow. and the same thing is happening in the body okay so like now if you if you would when you send a pulsed energy through the the bag of water the jar when you send a pulsed energy it's just like a pulsing thing just like that mm -hmm. it will actually go to those points and the body senses those points and kicks in the relaxation response the brain will go there and then when you take that deep breath it will actually fix the problem instantly so now I pick that up on you and on her both. So like when you're muscle testing, sometimes you're not getting a clear signal. And plus in your office there, it's over on your left side there. I'm looking at my left side be on your right. Okay. 
like there's there is definitely a field there if you muscle test yourself here and then go over and sit like on your other little stool over there and muscle test yourself there I mean, you felt the difference right there. Well, you know, I could, I mean, I do have a, I do have a few things. I do have a radiation homeopathic and I actually have these, these filters, these EMF filters that go on the phone. So I can actually test, uh, I can test Debbie because I've never tested her before on, on those. And see. Well, there's, there's actually a way to fix the body. Yeah. So, so that it doesn't react to these things, okay? But the first thing you got to do is clear that cross wire effect so you get clear signals like when you're muscle testing sometimes you get you get mixed signals, and sometimes it might test positive when actually it's not maybe it's a little on the negative side all right so like on yourself i mean just for yucks just tap yourself on top of the head a few times and now take a deep breath and blow it all the way out so tap right on the crown chakra right there Okay, now stop tapping, stop tapping. And there's a little shift going on. Yeah. And, and now muscle test yourself again, sitting right there. A little more robust, it wasn't weak before, but it feels a little bit more robust now. You can do the tap Debbie right on the top of her crown chakra there. And then go back and muscle test that right, right side again. Right on the crown chakra, right in the middle of the top, right there. <sighs> and go back and, and uh, muscle test that right side again. Wow, it's even worse. It's even weaker. It's even worse. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Now you're going, now you're getting clear signals. Okay. Uh -huh. So you got to let's, uh, let's see where it's where it's actually uh, coming from. Just once again, just muscle test her right there. Just muscle test. Very weak. Okay. It's like mid thoracic. Um, right side. So it'll be a corresponding spot, probably in the back. It'd be like not at the shoulder blade, but right somewhere in the mid thoracic. I've got a spot. Like right. In. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The veracity of muscle testing is affected by numerous things. I've been I've I've studied applied kinesiology for you know 40 plus years and uh, it's an art and a science combined. Her, her shoulder got strong enough to like got no power there. So it's anterior. What is that? Deltoid? Anterior deltoid. Neck flexors. Push up. Push up here. Thank you. 
I think you're in the right track there. Energetic shift right there. It's still moving. Better. Yeah, it's still moving though. There's a shift there. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that was good. There we go. So, for, um, <clears throat> so this muscle anterior deltoid related to the gallbladder meridian, <clears throat> and I have to reset gallbladder uh, beginning now. Let me write that down. That's pretty remarkable. It's not quite locked in, so it works a little deeper here. Somewhere inside of here. And then and I know it's connected to here, and I'm not sure I understand, but I know it's still here. Oh, okay. Let me see if I'm on to something. Let's uh, hold this leg up. That's so strong. I'm going to hold on to this muscle. Hold this leg up. So this is like a big shunt circuit muscle. So I had one of these things on the shelf. Oh, you can't, you can't. But if I let go of that spot, you can't. Wow. So, so there's the question is what's in there? So the question is, so there's something, so sort of, something sort of like energy residing in her right, in her right upper arm. And then okay. I touch it, then every other muscle in her body goes weak. She's yeah. Um, All right. So let me try something. Okay. Okay. All right. So. It's all about balance and spin. Everything has torsion to it. So um, Debbie, just put your mind right on that one spot that he's focusing on. Feel that weakness right there. Go into that spot and pinpoint exactly with your mind. Down to a neuron, go there, all right? And just feel how weak you got right there. Now just take a deep breath. <sighs> Oh yeah, that was something right there. Okay, now keep your mind right there, okay? Stay in that spot. And now I'm gonna put spin right into that, like this. <sighs> keep your mind right there. I'm gonna come at it from different angles like this. And feel that resistance right there and release it. <sighs> Breathe. Then another one from over here like this. And breathe right there. And then another one from here like this. Okay. 
Okay, as long as it got you right there. Now, put your left hand on your intestines right at the top, right just below the sternum. Go, go down a little bit. Like right in there, stop right there. All right, now just take a deep breath. And then follow it um, to your left just a little bit. Like right in there, stop right there. All right, now feel this. And feel that. And then just a little bit more, follow it to the left, a little bit more. And down just a little bit, like right in there, stop right there. Let's do, let's do one more for yucks right there. Go down just a little bit, straight down. Like right in there, stop right there. And feel that. So what I would, if, if I were there, what I would be doing is treating her uh, anger and resentment and everything that she's built up in her, in her uh, digestive tract. Um, muscle test her right arm now and see if it changed any. No, not much. Weaker. No. Not yeah, not the weaker. Definitely physical. Remainder is physical. Can okay. you do? Uh, can you can you do an actual shoulder adjustment on her? Yeah. Okay. Uh, touch your ear. That may be that hand. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little nice there. Give me a second. Yeah, nice. Nice adjustment. Oh, okay. Your whole body is changing with that. Feel that. Oh, that was serious. Oh, All right. We're all feeling that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a, little, a little clear. Yes, we check it down. Push up. Nice. Excellent. Not as tender. Very good. Hold this leg up. Yeah, very good. Hold this leg up. Very good. Yeah, very nice. Good. May I ask you about the um, anger and resentment you said is in my digestive tract? So, yeah, um, yeah, I've had unbelievable digestion issues. Like, yeah, maybe I could use uh, maybe the doc could muscle test for me. Are you done with her, or, or uh, can I use her a little bit? Can I play with her? Yeah. Or you got time? Yeah, I mean, it's, you got time? Yeah, I mean, we got a little more time. All right. So, um, all right. Just for yucks now, doc, um, we're going to treat her like she's just a bag of water. Okay. Now put your left hand, doc, or you can relax for a minute. Just relax. Everybody go calm and center. Just relax. Okay. Go calm and center. Okay. Maybe, um, you want a muscle test with her left arm or right one? Um, well, this has been stronger, consistent, more consistently. So, Okay, take your left hand, yeah. put it um, dead center, just below the belly button, like um, like uh, like an inch, like okay. right down in there. All right, now muscle tester. Strong. Okay, use your palm right in the middle of your palm, put it right in that spot, right there. That's okay, good. now tester. No, no. Yeah, all right. All right, so now you can uh, relax the right arm. Your uh, doc. 
Yeah, let her let her arm rest. Keep your hand left hand there. Okay. All right. Now, just stay right there. I'm going to use you as a surrogate, Doc, and let's see if we can change that. Okay. All right. So right there it is. I can feel it. I think you can probably feel that feel that resistance, that tightness right there below your palm. Feel that. All right. Now just take a deep breath. Blow it all the way out, all the way, all the way, all the way. And feel the shift. It's still moving. It's like a little wave. Okay, tester, muscle tester now. Solid. Okay, all right now. Now, go to that same spot, Doc, and instead of putting your palm on her hand, on her body like that, just turn it over like that. Okay, and now muscle tester. That's strong. Okay, um, eat, now just a minute. Go. You have to go to the exact same spot and use the back of your palm. Right there. Okay, you got it right there. Yeah. Feel that. All right. All right. Now keep your left hand there and let her relax her right her arm. Okay. You guys just relax. Just keep your right hand, your left hand there. Okay, like that. All right. Now lock into her that energy energy in her body right there. You can feel it. This is the the negative aspect, electrical aspect of that thing we just fixed. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to take this out too. Take a deep breath. and feel the body change. Feel that shift right there. It's still shifting. Okay, now muscle tester. Solid. Okay, all right now, just keep your hand just like it is Hey doc, now look at my hand, okay? Now just take, let's see, which one, which way was she was blocked gallbladder? Which one, which finger is gallbladder? Which line, do you know? All right, so what we do is we're not sure. So now just keep your hand right there. So just touch your fingertip like that. Okay. And feel how weak she is, feel that, check her. Well, actually it's not, it's not gallbladder meridian, but um, yeah, what is that? Just take a take a deep breath and blow it out. Well, well it's hard to all different on the pinky and his lung uh, or um, on the thumb. Okay. Here's a new twist to it. Okay. You're on the on the tip. Now go to the next joint down. Okay. Go to the next joint. Now muscle tester. Is that a Ulin thing? Yeah, that's that's weak. All right. So take that out, fix that. And feel that. And feel that shift right there. Very peaceful. Yeah, I'm hearing gurgling going on in there. All right. So, so what, what hand mode is this? No idea. I just feel energetically. Okay. All right. Now just keep your hand there. And go to the next joint down. Okay. And feel her body. Ooh. All right. Yeah, re release that one too. Okay, so now these are all negative aspects of not only the positive negative aspect of the body, but also torsion. Okay. Now, Take your hand and turn it over back on the other side and keep that same connection. Okay. Flip it over and, and now muscle tester. That's solid. Okay. And now yeah. go up a joint, go yeah. up a joint, tester. That's fine. Okay, then 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 go back to the tip and make sure you got a good one. Great tip is weak. Yeah. All right. Fix it. Take it out. Okay, now I'm gonna mess with you a little bit, Doc. Take your other hand, put it on that same spot. 
but you got to face it the other way. So your fingers are going the other way. So you were going like you're going crosswise before. Now you have to go the op exact opposite I direction. I was facing her head more than crosswise. So now my okay. I was facing facing her head more than I was facing left or right. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Then just put uh, face face your fingers down. Then like you were going. That that was good. I couldn't see for sure, but yeah, put it down like that. Okay. Now muscle tester right there. Right. Okay. Now, go go back to the position you were in, and put your hand crosswise across the body like that. Mm -hmm. All right, muscle tester there. That's weak. Yeah. So we fix that. Take a deep breath. Blow it out. And feel the shift. Solid. It's not quite done yet. Yeah, it's not quite. Just a second. Okay, now do it. Okay. All right. So now do the, do the, uh, this is like, these are like dimmer real stats on your lights. These are all frequencies. These are all frequencies on different lines of energy going through the body. Now, you actually touched on something just before, and you actually put your hand above her body, and we can treat her like that, too. Take your hand away. Take your hand away. Okay, right hand like right there. Yeah, yeah. That feels good. Okay. All right, now just keep it in one spot, okay? Just a second now. Just a second. Just a second. Keep, it, keep your hand in one spot right there. All right, muscle tester now. That feels good. Yeah. All right. So now flip your keep your hand right there and flip your hand over. Okay. Yeah. All right. You go to that same spot above her. Go to that same spot above her. Go up, right? It's like right in there. Okay, now do it. That's fine. Left arm respond. The right arm, I think, was weaker on the test. <laughs> Now change sides on her body. Go to the other side of her body. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. Feel that right there. Feel that one right there. Feel that. Check it. Okay. Getting mixed signals there. Put your hand on her body again. Put her in the spot. Right there. Muscle test. That one right there. You were garbled there for a moment. Yeah. I think he's back. So we're at, we're at an hour. Okay. Oh, I think he's back. So it's body as well as in. Okay. All right. Okay. We're back. Yeah. That was interesting. Okay. All right. So like if you, um, you're a classic sensitive doc. Okay. Oh, thanks. Do I get flowers and chocolate? No, you get, you get an extended abdomen with uh, shielding, okay? Oh. All right, so same thing we just did to her, you need to do to yourself. But okay. you know what? If you got, if you still got a couple minutes, I wanna show you how you can use your cell phone to heal your body. Okay, yeah, okay. So All right, get your cell phone. Here. I have one, please. Yeah. yeah. Oh, use your own cell phone, or you can use, Debbie can use her cell phone. Did I do your cell phone for you on the show, Debbie? You did. Oh, ah, okay. Wow. 
<laughs> my reality just is quite different. Yeah, big Whoa, reboot. that is unexpected. It's a big reboot. That was huge. Okay. Man. Well, hey, Debbie, hold on just a second. Just a second. Feel this. Feel this. I'm a re Remember in the show, I ran torsion around your head? Remember that? All right, feel this. <sighs> Breathe, yeah, there you go. All right, now I'm gonna run around your body, feel like this. All right, move your body around a little bit. Feel different? I'm so good. I'm super good. All right. That was like doing plant medicine. Oh, yeah? You were like, you were floating out of your body for a minute? <laughs> and then, <laughs> okay. And now. No, Doc's got to use his own cell phone. Okay. Oh, he does need to use his own. Okay, I'll go get okay. it. Yeah, so we're going to adapt his body to the, the cell phone. Okay. We're going to use the animal brain to adapt the human body to the field of the cell phone. Um, okay, I'm going to go get my phone. I actually have two, but I have a main one and then a side one. Right so folks who are interested in having, I mean, so I just want to backtrack. <laughs> I hear we are at the end, but I am going to backtrack and say to people, I'm sorry that the lighting is so garish in here. Um, so these are two people who have never met each other. Don Lynch at donlynch.net was on my podcast, Go to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. And during that conversation, we talked about chiropractors and we said how rare it was to find somebody who could really do body speak. And I said, well, I actually, I have one. Sadly, maybe like most people, it took me a year and a ton of money with people who got my body nowhere to finally find Dr. Jeffrey Benton, who I met at an event where he was doing a demonstration. And I saw his work and said, dude, <laughs> we have to work together. And that's how I got here. So Don said he wanted to work with Dr. Jeffrey Benton in Los Angeles and it's Light Touch Healing. Light Touch Healing Center. Light Touch Healing Center on Wilshire Boulevard. And so they are connecting. They've never met before. And we've never done this before. So you all just got to witness this. Okay. All right. Okay, back. You ready? You got, a, you got a cell phone turned on. Yeah, they're both on. I have two, but this is the main one. Okay. All right. And hey, I, Debbie, and you want a muscle? And I also have my R2L. So I have my little cell phone. I, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's even better. Yeah. Okay. And this one's got two of them, and this one's got one of them. All right. So, yeah. Just put. Yeah. Just put. Let's just work for one. Hey, okay. Debbie. Can you muscle muscle test the doc for me? Yes. All right. All right. That's interesting. Okay. Right. Hey, doc. Yeah. You take your cell phone and put it away from your body right now. Take your cell phone and put it away from your body. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, Debbie. Give him a baseline muscle test. Nice and strong. All right, is that a good test? Yeah. Is that a good test, Doc? Like to good test. Go ahead. Yeah, he's solid. Super. Great. Okay, I don't think he's solid, and so I'm going to see if I can fix him. Hold Just on. a second. Let's. I think I like that. We stronger than this side. The okay. right was a little stronger than the left. And I can also drink some water. That usually helps. All right. Just a second. Just a second. Let me let me see if I can help you. Just a second. All right, Doc. See if you can feel this. All right. That's nice. And then here's something a little unusual. Feel this. Equal but opposite spin right around your head. And it feels like this. <sighs> All right, Debbie. I, I feel like Get a baseline. Get a baseline on them. Do a baseline muscle test. 
Well, this is still a little bit wonky, but this is wonky. better. He's got some. He's got physical stuff going on back there. All right, so let's do. Yeah. Let's use that one. All right. All right. So all right. Now just take take your cell phone, put it up to your head, and see if it changes. Just like you're going to use it. Put it up to your ear. And put it tight on your head, and feel this. Deb, do your you thing. Me or just you? No, muscle test him with his phone up to his head. I think he wants his butt up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but he got strong. It's strong. Okay, so this is a classic case. Okay, so put uh, put the the uh, phone back up to your head, and Deb. When he has his phone up to his head, tap him on his crown chakra like five or six times firmly. Sure, it should be a hooked up on the one. Five or six times crown? Yeah, firmly on the head. He's got to have, have a phone right up to his head, though. Go right on the crown chakra, right on the crown chakra, right at the top. There you go. Now, just everybody take a deep breath and blow it out. Okay, Deb, stop tapping. And now, muscle test his other arm. Other arm. Well, whichever. All right. See, oh. he's got it on his body. Yeah. Muscle That's test. Next to me. Yeah. That's a different All experience. Right. That All right. is a very and different put up, experience. Put up to your ear again. Put up to your ear again. Feel it now. A little wonky. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So just keep it on the keep it right on your ear. All right, Deb. Let him go there. Now drop your arm down. Okay. Now, Doc, just feel that energy how it's affecting your body, all right? When she's putting down, pushing down your arm like that, it creates a signal for your animal brain to activate and it'll go right to that point. Now just take a deep breath and blow it all the way out. <coughs> the animal brain is there to protect the host body. Mm -hmm. And it senses that that, that a bag of water that you are with its own electrical field mm -hmm. has been interacting with the electrical field from the phone and it creates points of weakness. All right. Now put the phone back up, back, back up to your head. All right, Deb, test them now. That's solid. I would say that's solid. Yeah. All right. Now put it on your thyroid, Doc. Put it on your thyroid. Hey, it's stressing me out now. <laughs> Whoa. Feel that. All right. Wow. Uh, but keep the phone right there. Keep the phone right there. Keep the phone. And now we're going to, hey, Deb, back away from him a little bit. Back away. Don't touch him. Back away. All right, Doc. Put the phone right on your thyroid. All right. Feel it. Are you fun now? Nope. All right. Just feel it. Okay. Now just tap yourself somewhere like on the leg there. Tap yourself on the leg. Tap yourself on the leg or anywhere. All right. Now just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. And blow it all the way out. Blow it out all the way. Just like three or four taps, all you need. We're just sending pulsed energy through the body. Just stop tapping, stop tapping. All right, just relax for a minute. It'll feel like a little wave as it releases. It will be an actual discharge. It'll run through your body. And like right now, it's going through your right calf. That wave of energy is going through your right calf on the inside of it. That's going down towards your ankle and it's in your foot right now, and it's stuck right there, okay? Now I'm just gonna take it out, feel this. <sighs> yeah, a big yawn coming out of me for no reason at all. Yeah, all right. So now keep the phone right there and muscle test him, Deb. Nice. We is strong. Yeah. See, it's all about the animal brain being activated and it gets activated when you can feel on a profound level. Yeah. And so if we can actually, um, you know, every day people get stressed out and they go home and sit down in their favorite chair and they're in a safe place and the animal brain senses a point of stress somewhere in the body or neck or somewhere and it makes the body go, like that. And it takes that point of stress, which is actually <laughs> just a point of electrical resistance in the bag of water. It goes to that point and releases it with that cleansing breath. So my thing here is, is I'm showing you how you can use this 
in an intentional manner to change the way the body interacts with points of electrical resistance in the body. So like when you're doing like gallbladder, you're going through, through lines of energy in the body, you can clear it in different ways. You can do it like we did with, with your hand on her abdomen and you can do electrical aspects. And then you can also use all these different lines of energy in a conscious manner and go through people's lines of energy like that. You can go really fast actually once you get practice with it and you can go positive, negative, and then you have a spin this way, positive, spin that way, negative, same, that way, yeah. that way. Okay. Yeah. And then it gets more complex beyond that, but that's the most basic stuff. Okay. So, so I, I know you have a patient. Yeah. So he needs to go, but I do want to okay. end this for people who are watching this. Can you tell them for, I'm telling you, I looked for a year. So this is making a difference. How can they find you? Let us, and what's possible with you? What's possible? Again, a lot of things are possible. So, I mean, I don't know, healing's possible, just fasting. So, as you know, uh, so contact me, the Light to Touch Healing Center. I'm here on Wilshire Boulevard, 323-297-0566, 323-297-0566, and Instagram, LTH Center, on Facebook, Light Touch Healing Center, or my name, Jeffrey B. Benton, B-E-N-T-O-N, Beautiful. So yeah, whatever's going on, emotional, physical, spiritual, etc. And then Don, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, DonLynch.net. Just look for me there. Send me an email or whatever. You can um, send me an email, and I got links and stuff I can send you for YouTube videos and uh, and any kind of activities I'm doing, doing free events and and uh, doing interviews all the time and stuff like that. But listen, I can tell you. I got 50 plus years in chiropractic stuff and research stuff and energetic stuff. And if you can find a chiropractor like this that can work on you energetically in detail, it's fantastic because the stuff will be lasting and profound. And I Amen. highly encourage like anybody that sees my videos to if, if you're in his area, I mean, you know, contact him and, uh, you know, go for it, man. I, if you can find a good chiropractor like this, man, stick with them. It's everything. Cause I mean, I, I, my, probably much like you guys, I was, I've been to on more than two hands, chiropractors who had a routine crack, 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 see you next week, crack, crack, crack over and over. And my body was not moving or shifting. I was so stuck. So this is what I call mad scientist, but it's someone who literally is a body whisperer and can talk to a body and then um and thank you both so much for today this was unreal and awesome all right well you're welcome thank you Kim. thank you okay. adios. adios adios thanks don